Hey, Gary Hoover here. I'm about to start my next edition of my Art of Enterprise class. It's a class where you can learn how to think like an entrepreneur. You ask, who's it for? Um, some of the people who've taken it and seem to be really pleased, you can go to my website, Hoover's World, and see testimonials and comments from people who've taken it. I've had people who already have MBAs. I've had people who've sold their companies for millions. I've had people who uh, currently run a company, 20, 30, uh, 40 employees, or one or two. Uh, most of my students are uh, people who are thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, or at least want to understand entrepreneurship better. Maybe they've had an idea for a business for a long time and, and want to know how to go about it. Uh, maybe they just got this itch to have a bigger control over their own destiny, their own fate, and think, maybe I should be an entrepreneur, but I need to know more about it. This course is ideal for them. At the same time, I think entrepreneurial thinking is something that we need throughout our lives and our society. Whether it's running a museum or a hospital, a university, a nonprofit organization, a social entrepreneurship, civic entrepreneurship, doing startups, or even working in big companies, or, or even government agencies. I speak all the time to government agencies and uh, different groups of administrators about how to think like an entrepreneur. And so uh, what we teach in this class is we start out with a kind of a big picture view and a real focus on learning because a key aspect of successful entrepreneurial thinkers is that they're lifelong learners. They're always looking around and seeing all sorts of stuff and seeing stuff that other people don't see. And it comes from a combination of methods. And there's like book learning, uh, reading books. We use Peter Drucker's book, Innovation and Entrepreneurship. And you get a free copy of my book, uh, uh, The Art of Enterprise, a PDF copy of that if you take the class. Uh, but also uh, how we learn through conversation, how we learn through observation. One evening, we all go out to a local shopping mall, and everybody in the class gets a project to figure out uh, to learn something and see opportunities by just observing people. So it's a lot of it's about how we learn, and then it's also how to understand the big picture, how everything fits together. A key thing when you study really successful entrepreneurs is that they somehow get up on a little higher hill than everybody else. They look a little further out. They have a better grasp of their context, what's going on around them. So we talk about companies and enterprises and what they really are and how they're structured and how they work. And that may sound very basic, but I can tell you, a lot of the failures of big companies, whether it's General Motors or the decline of Sears Roebuck or whatever, come from not understanding these key fundamental basics. Often these things aren't even taught in business schools. They're in such a rush to get to the techniques and the tools, accounting and marketing and finance and information management, that they don't really talk about the basics of enterprise, of business, of why you start something and what makes it work and what makes it last. So anyway, we talk a lot about all that jazz. Um, we, we go through how do you come up with ideas, how do you find opportunities, and if you really uh, learn what we're talking about in this class. You're going to see opportunities everywhere you look. You will have so many ideas you won't be able to handle them. So then we talk about well, how do you sort through them and how do you figure out what's the best opportunity. Not, it's not so much the one that's going to make the most money or it's just the ideal business idea. It's more what's the right opportunity for you because understanding yourself and how you fit into it is key to this whole process. But we look at how you sort out opportunities and then how you investigate them, how you begin to research them. One of our classes is how to become an expert in any industry. And we focus on how do you, uh, how do you get to know more about it than anybody else or go up as high as you can. And, and because that's really not only going to uh, help you understand the industry and the opportunity, but it also gives you the confidence to proceed because a key thing in entrepreneurship is, you know, question I get is when do you start? When do you quit your job? When do you go hire other people? When do you take your life savings and put it, put it out there, roll the dice, whatever? How do you assess the risk? And, and I think a lot of that, your self-confidence, your confidence that you're right in your idea, that comes with doing this research and learning the industry. About the last third of the course is devoted to more the applied stuff. It's uh, uh, financing, how do finances work, basic accounting ideas, uh, stock and stock options and all that jazz, marketing, management. Uh, so we really kind of cover the gamut. And um, 
Now, like I say, people seem to love it. I love talking about it and, and teaching it. Um, so how's it work? Um, uh, it's called the Art of Enterprise. The way it works is uh, I give the first class free, and I give it twice. And that gives you a chance to come see if you like it and whether you think you'd be a good fit. And I give that first class free two times. Um, first of all, Wednesday, September 7th, 2011, from 5.30 to 9.30 p.m. And then the exact same material, Saturday, September 10th, from 1 to 5 p.m. So I give it a Wednesday evening and the following Saturday afternoon. And I give it a Tech Ranch, a local incubator, a great outfit. Uh, they're moving to a new location. So we'll be in a new location, 9111 Jollyville Road. And that's just south of 183 between Mopac and 360, near the Echelon buildings, where the airplane crashed into, you know, a year or so ago. Anyway, and come to Suite 100, the Tech Ranch is going to take several different facilities in there, and we're still sorting out the, the best room for our class. Uh, and then it takes place every Wednesday night, so I guess starts Wednesday, September 14th is the real class, and if you like what you saw the first time, you can bring a check to that class. And um, it's $1,250. Uh, I always call it my 10-week course, but the last one I, I gave, we're just wrapping up, uh, people asked for one more class, so it ended up 11 weeks. Uh, 10, 11 weeks, all I can say for sure is it'll be all wrapped up before Thanksgiving. want to get this one out of the way before the holiday season. And um, I encourage you to come, bring your friends, people of all ages, no matter what your background and everything. You can't lose anything. Come to the free ones and, and, and see what you think. And even if you just come to the free ones, I think you'll you'll learn something. So I hope to see you there. Uh, you can always uh, email me, go through Hoover's World if you got any questions or anything. And um, have a great day. See you later.